Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. Recently posted a video showing you CapCut Online, which was an online free video editor with a whole lot of really amazing AI tools. Today we're going to do a deep dive on one of these tools, the 4K Upscaling. So this is a really amazing tool. This is going to let you take your images and your videos and take them from 1080p and use AI technology to upscale them to 4K. We're going to have a look at how to do this on the CapCut Online site and we're going to do some comparisons and see how well it does. For people who have been producing content, particularly in 1080p, this is going to be really useful for being able to recycle and reuse some content that you may have decided was not of a sufficient resolution to be able to use anymore. Uh, certainly for a lot of my material, I've been recording at 1080p for a long time and this is going to let me be able to take some of the bits and pieces and bring them up to 4K. You can tell very easily on a 4K monitor when something's been recorded in 1080p because it looks really kind of blurry, washed out, it just doesn't really look very good. So being able to bring all of your materials up to 4K is going to be really useful. So let's start by testing the video upscaler. So if we come over to Magic Tools, and then we can scroll down and choose Video Upscaler, opens in a new window, and then we can add our video. So I've shot the same video in 1080p and in 4K. And so I'm going to upload the one that I've shot in 1080p and we're going to put it side by side firstly with 1080p versus the 4K upscale and then the 4K upscale versus the real 4K and just really have a good gauge of how well this tool works. So we copy it over and then on the right hand side we've got a button for upscale. There's no other options for us here. I would imagine if it was something even smaller we might get different multiples that we can change the resolution up in this top corner, but I'm just testing 1080p. Okay, so that took several minutes to run through, as we might expect, because it's going to take a reasonable amount of computational resources to be able to do this upscaling. From here, we can click export and we can get the file. We can also hit edit more. Edit more will bring up the actual video editor. And so within the video editor, we can see that very much like most video editors, we've got the ability to trim, edit, adjust, voiceover. Down the side here, you can see that we've got audio, text, captions, transcripts, effects. So a pretty comprehensive editor sitting here that we can have a play with if we don't want to use some other editor and just export this once it's been through the tool. Clicking on export, you can also share for review or presentation as well as uh, export it to a number of different sites, or we can just download. So if we want to get straight to that video editor, uh, rather than going via any of the tools, we can also hit create new and blank canvas. And we can see that that will also bring us up a new tab. It will have our various things. So you can see that there's my 1080p, there's my upscaled, which we will do that comparison on, and all the other bits and pieces for the editor. Unfortunately, the 4K from my camera got corrupted, but we can compare the 4K upscaled on the left and the 1080p on the right. We can see that there's more detail around the hair and detailing on the instruments. So certainly seeing something close to a 4K with the upscaling with the AI. Next up, we will have a look at upscaling images. So again, we can come to create new and go to custom image, or we can come down through the tools and down in the images, we can find the one that says image art scaler here with the picture of the cat. So we'll click on that, opens up the editor. So we are going to do two different experiments here. One, we are going to have a fairly detailed screen. In fact, it's a screenshot of this CapCut tool. And the second is going to be a landscape, and so with each of these I'm going to see what the upscale looks like. When we're using this tool, it's quite nice that we do get these little pop-ups of help videos. You can see it's only 12 seconds long because there's not much to it. Upload the image and then choose the new resolution. But really nice touch when you're learning the tool that these are here just to give you that extra bit of guidance. So the first one that we're going to do here is just a screenshot of CapCut. 
You can see there's a lot going on here on the screen. I think this could be fairly challenging for AI, particularly keeping the shape of letters uh, nice and crisp. So let's hit upscale. Let's see what happens. So that was considerably faster than the video, as we might expect. And again, we can edit more or we can hit export and uh, we'll do some side by side comparisons of the 1080p versus the upscaled 4K. Here's the second image that we're going to have a go of. Again, there's a fair bit going on here in terms of detail with all of these flowers. These are canola fields that are south of Melbourne. And so it's also not a perfect 1920 by 1080. We can see the resolution starting at 1920 by 1276. I thought I'd throw this at the editor as well. And so again, we'll upscale to 4K and see how it does. So one other little feature they have up in the very top right here where you have this little button, see the changes. And so we can flick back. So here's the original, here's the upscaled. Uh, without putting them side by side, it is pretty hard to tell. I think we're probably going to need to do a little bit of zooming as well to really appreciate the effect. This is all getting recorded on a 4K monitor, so I can see a little bit, but being able to actually translate that into what you can see in the video might be a little bit trickier. But let's have a look at some side by sides and see how this went. So here we have the 4K upscaled image next to the original screenshot in 1080p. If we're viewing this on a good 4K monitor, we'll notice the difference in sharpness of the 4K. If you're only viewing this on a HD or a 1080p monitor, you're not really going to be able to see the difference. What we can do though is we can take a look at the 1080p in its original size versus the upscaled 4k so here is the canola fields and if we look at the difference there it becomes much more stark when i don't stretch out to fill the screen so that's how big 1080p actually is relative to this upscaled 4k and you can see that the 4k has not lost any of the fidelity if anything things are a little bit sharper as we stretch the 1080p out to be able to fill the screen and put them up side by side so this has been CapCut Online Video Editor, CapCut.com. I'll link in the video description. Thanks to CapCut for sponsoring today. Unlike the previous video where I was just producing it because I like the tool, they actually reached out and so this one has been a sponsored video. All of the things we've seen today are part of the free plan. There's plenty of other great tools there as well. I definitely encourage you to check it out.